Hey guys, we have learned several different angle relationship theorems, and sometimes it can be hard to keep them all straight, so we're going to look at them all on this page. First, let's review parallel lines cut by a transversal. Remember, the angle pairs are either supplementary or congruent. So, 1, 3, 5, and 7 are all congruent angles, and 4, 2, 8, and 6 are all congruent. If they're supplementary, it's a green and a pink angle together. We add them to 180 degrees. So if they're different, they're supplementary, we can add them to 180 degrees. And congruent just means that they are the same, so it's either the pink or the green. We could set them equal to each other. So whenever we are solving problems like that, remember the first thing that we have to do is decide if they are congruent or supplementary. These form a line, and we know that lines add to 180 degrees, so these are supplementary. So to find the value of x, I can add them together and set it equal to 180 degrees. And now I can find x by subtracting 108 and I get 6x equals 180 minus 108 is 72. And then I divide by 6 and x is 12. And that's all it asked me to find on this one, so I am done. Okay, next one it says find the measure of each angle. So I'm going to have to find x and then substitute it back in. So these angles are alternate exterior because they're outside the parallel lines and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. I can also tell that both of them are obtuse angles, so these angles are congruent. I can set them equal to each other since they're the same. So that's the equation I'm going to set up. 15x minus 2 equals 11x plus 34 to find x. So this side is simplified. I can't combine those like terms. This side is also simplified. Now I'm going to move the variables to the same side. So 11x is the smaller variable. I'm going to subtract 11x from both sides and I get 4x minus 2 equals 34. And then my next step is to add 2 to both sides, and I get 4x equals 36. And then divide by 4, and x is 9. Okay, so I found x, but it wants me to find each angle measure. Since these angles are congruent, they're the same, I just have to plug back into one of them. So I'm going to plug into 11x plus 34. So 11 times 9 plus 34. And 11 times 9 plus 34 is 133 degrees. So we can say both angles are 133 degrees. Okay, so that was the first angle relationship we learned about. Then we also learned about interior angles of triangles. So remember the sum of the interior angles of triangles always equals 180 degrees. So I can add the three inside angles and set them equal to 180. So let's do that on this first one. They want us to find the value of x, that missing angle. So I'm just going to add everything together. 32 plus 116 plus x. There's all my interior angles and they equal 180 degrees. Okay, now I need to solve this for x. I'm going to combine like terms. 32 plus 116 can combine to create 148. So my new simplified equation is 148 plus x equals 180. So I'm going to subtract 148, and that will tell me what x is. So 180 
minus 148 is 32. So that missing angle is 32 degrees and I can double check by adding my three angles together. So we just found that it's 32 degrees. Let's make sure it equals 180. 32 plus 32 plus 116 is 180. So I did this correct. Okay, same thing on the next one. They want us to find the measure of angle B afterwards. So we'll have to substitute back in. But the process is still the same. I'm going to add my three angles together and set them equal to 180. So 7x plus 5x plus 5 plus 3x plus 10. Those three angles equal 180 degrees. Okay, obviously this left side can be simplified. I can combine 7 plus 5 plus 3x and I get 15x. And then 5 plus 10 is 15. And it equals 180. Okay, now I'm going to subtract 15. and I get 15x equals 165. And then I need to divide by 15. And 165 divided by 15 is 11. So x equals 11. I'm not done yet though, because it asked to find angle B. And angle B is 5x plus 5. So I'm going to substitute x into 5x plus 5. So it'll be five times 11 plus five, and five times 11 plus five is 60. So that missing angle is 60 degrees. Okay, the last angle relationship we learned about was exterior angles of triangles. And remember the exterior angle of our triangle, this would be angle D here, equals the sum of the two remote interior angles, which would be A and C. So 180 is not involved whenever we're setting up our equations here. Some people will want to add everything and set it equal to 180, but that's not what we do with exterior angles. If you see an exterior angle, you set it equal to the two opposite interior angles. So let's do that on this one to find the value of X my two interior angles, 3x plus 4x, I'm gonna add them together to set them equal to the exterior angle of 112. So 3x plus 4x will equal 112. Now I need to find x by combining like terms. 3x plus 4x is 7x equals 112. And then my last step is to divide by seven and 112 divided by seven is 16. All right, last one, they want us to find the measure of angle CDE. Sorry, that should say CDF. They want us to find the measure of angle CDF. So I'm going to do that by finding X and then substituting back into 4X plus 10. So first let's set up an equation to find the value of X. So my two interior angles will equal my exterior angle. So 2X plus 70, my two interior angles equal the exterior angle of 4x plus 10. Okay, the left side is simplified, the right side is simplified. So now I can move my variables to the same side. 2x is the smaller variable, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides and I get 70 equals 4x minus 2x is 2x and then we bring down the plus 10. And then I subtract 10 from both sides and I get 60 equals 2x divide by two. 
So x is 30. Okay, we are not done yet. Remember, I have to find the angle CDF. So I'm plugging in to 4x plus 10. And I'm going to replace x with 30. And 4 times 30 plus 10 will tell me the measure of angle CDF. 4 times 30 plus 10 is 130.